Hey guys, Paradox Seal here. Welcome back to a brand new video, everybody. This is part 16 of our Discord.py series, or uh, more notably as making a Discord bot in Python. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be going over conditionals in Discord.py. Now, um, this is a little bit unorthodox because usually people don't use a lot of conditionals in their Discord bot unless they're, they have a lot going on, and I mean like a lot, a lot. But uh, yeah, so uh, we're going to go over two examples. One, to where only the command could be ran in a specific channel. So for an example, um, if we have a bot commands channel, uh, we only want the command to be uh, responded to or completed in that channel. And if the command is ran in general channel, uh, just nothing will happen. Um, that's going to be our first example. And our second example is a developer command that will only be ran if the bot developer um, runs the command. So if anyone else were to run the command, nothing would happen. So uh, that's our two examples we're going to go over today. So uh, first example is going to be the channel one. So we're going to uh, type in commands.cog.listener. And then it's def hello. That's himself. CTX. And then um, we are going to type in a channel that we want the command to respond in. So we are going to type in commands channel and uh, we're gonna set it equal to discord.utils.get and then we're gonna pass in ctx.guild.channels and then for the name we are going to uh, type in the name of the channel that we want to be exclusive for our commands so I'm gonna use test-channel for that so test-channel now, uh, keep in mind that um, if you were to change the name of that channel, you would need to change it here as well. So, uh, anyways, after that, we uh, are uh, going to basically write our conditional for uh, the command to only respond in that channel. So to do that, we're going to type in if ctx.channel.id is equal equal to um ch commands channel dot id then we're going to type in await ctx dot send um command ran successfully now if you want to type in an elf elf statement not elf sorry guys so else statement and await ctx.send, you cannot run this command. You can do that if you'd like. However, most people just rather it not do anything at all. Now, obviously, if you have more code, you would want to run it inside this if block. So uh, do keep that in mind. Always be sure to uh, type in all your other code inside that if block before the await. But um. This is just uh, my example. So I'm going to go ahead and run the command. Or not the command, but the bot now. <laughs> we'll run the command in a bit, guys. Don't worry. So I'm going to go ahead and run the bot. So we are all good. So I'm going to type in hello. As you can see, it does nothing in this um, channel. So I'm going to type in hello again. Does nothing. But as soon as I move to the test channel, the one where I want commands to be responding in, it should... Oh, this is, whoops. This is a event. Why the H did I do that? Sorry guys. I uh, don't know why I put it as a listener. All right, let's try it again. Okay, so it ran successfully in here. Now if I go to general and uh, run this command, as you can see, it won't respond because uh, this channel's ID is not equal to the one I have set in my code. <laughs> Excuse that weird error I made there. Sorry, guys. But uh, anyways, that runs as expected. Now we want to make the one where only I can use it. So we're going to type in commands.command, .command, not cog.listener. Please uh, be careful, guys. Don't be like me. So sync def dev. I'm just going to call it dev. You can call it whatever you want. And self 
and the CTX. And then um, here is the conditional we're going to write. So if ctx.author.id is equal, equal. And then right here, we are going to copy the ID of the person you want to be able to run this command. So copy ID. And then, uh, whoops. And then just paste it right here. If you were to, let's say, have a list of IDs, so a list of it like this. If you were to have multiple IDs there, you can use a list, I believe. So, uh, whoops. Just like that, we can go ahead and type in await ctx.send command ran successfully. And then we're going to type in an else statement just because else await ctx.send cannot run because you do not have permission. So uh, that is exactly how we're going to do it. So uh, you can use a list or you can make multiple conditionals using elif statements if um, you want to have multiple user IDs, or like I said, you can use that list. So uh, that's pretty much it for that dev command. So if I go ahead and run this again. All right, we're all good. So if I type in equals dev, as you can see, the command runs successfully. Now I'm gonna switch over to my alt account and I'm going to try to run the exact same command. And uh, as you can see, when my main account ran it, um, the command ran successfully. But when I type it on my alt account, as you can see, it says cannot run because you do not have permission. Now, if I were to uh, take my alt user ID and replace my main one with the alt user ID right here, then my alt will have permission to run this command, or I can put it in a list and uh, it'll work the exact same way. And uh, yeah, so that is how you can make developer commands. Now, um, a lot of bots don't really have developer commands, but uh, some people would like to uh, have developer commands, especially if they want to load or unload certain cogs while the bot is online. Hint, hint, that is possible. However, not sure how to do it because my method of doing it a long time ago was very outdated but i will make a video of that in the future but uh anyways that just about does it for this video if you guys enjoyed uh please smash that like button uh if you love watching this series don't forget to subscribe it helps me out a lot i want to say thank you guys for uh 200 subscribers it means a lot to me I know uh, compared to a lot of other YouTubers that uh, isn't very much, but uh, to me, all I have to do is imagine a room of 200 people in it, and that is plenty for me, guys. And uh, yeah, very grateful to have you guys watch my channel. It means a ton to me. Uh, like I said, if you enjoyed this series, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and write a comment to tell me how your day was. And um, if you happen to got stuck with your code or you just want to hang out with me and a bunch of other people, uh, feel free to join our Discord server down below in the description. Uh, we are currently at 129 members, I think. So, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.